What's up guys? Zach Schumper here with Infinite Outdoors and today I'm going to be taking you guys through and telling you a little bit about my DIY sit drag tree saddle system. So uh, I'm going to go over the steps that I take to get ready for a hunt, a little bit about how I use this system and a little bit about the materials that I use to build it. Alright, so first things first. Uh, the first thing that I like to do when I get in the woods and decide on which tree that I'm going to hunt out of, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and set my climbing stick. This is a lone wolf climbing stick. Um, I'm going to be using this one stick to climb uh, as high as I want to up the tree. It's called a one stick method. I do this for packable purposes. Uh, it's a little more lightweight and a little less profile going through the woods. So uh, I'm going to hang this stick first. And I like to do this about head height because I use a webbing aider to get an extra foot of climb out of this stick. And I'll show that to you in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this to the tree, get this secure, just like so. And then I'm going to take this webbing aider. This is a piece of one inch tubular climbing webbing that I'm going to go around the bottom. Uh, I just have a I have an eye in this that I sewed and uh, I'm going to make a half hitch around the bottom through that eye and have that right there on the bottom of this stick so that I can get about an extra foot of climb height out of this one stick. That just gives me an extra step. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hang my tree tether. That is this. This is a piece of 10 millimeter static kern mantle climbing rope. It's rated at 25 kilonewtons, which is a little over 6,000 pounds. And uh, these are 8 millimeter prussic cords that I tied uh, just to make my uh, safety arrest adjustable. It slides freely on this rope. And uh, you can order this off of Rock Rescue as well. So I'm going to go around the tree. Just like this. Feed it through that eye. And then I'm going to hang this a little out to the side of my climbing sticks so that these carabiners don't make any metal on metal contact and make any noise and possibly mess up your hunt. So that's the reason I'm hanging this out to the side. You want to be as quiet and as fluent as possible with this system. So that's basically how I have everything set up. Um, I'm going to be using this rock climbing harness as my safety harness. This is going to be my primary fall arrest and uh, later on it will become my secondary fall arrest. So I'll show you how that's going to work. Basically, I'm going to hook this rock climbing harness to this tether, and then I'll show you real quick how I'm going to use that to hold my weight. And I'm going to actually use this. This is what I'm going to use as I climb up the tree to um, be able to move my, my stick up with me so that I can continue to climb the tree. Um, then this will be my saddle system. So this is a sit drag. This is actually a ground seat that I ordered off of Amazon. And then I took a piece of one inch tubular webbing and I sewed these molly loops into it just to give me a little bit of different pack options as far as uh, there's a couple of different things that you can order for a little extra storage space. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually use them, but um, that option is there if I decide to use that. And then I took the original bridge that it came with and I, I got rid of it and I took a piece of quarter inch Amsteel blue and uh, I spliced this rope and then I lock stitched one side and I made it a continuous bridge. It's a, it's not adjustable, but it's just a fixed position bridge and uh, it has a really high safety rating as well. This is actually a piece of synthetic winch cable. So uh, that's what I'm going to be using as the saddle once I get up the tree. These are Ameristep screw in tree pegs. Um, I'm going to be using this as my platform. Uh, I hunt primarily private land and I have a lease here so I don't do a whole lot of public land hunts and uh, I know that some states it's against the law 
to use anything that screws into the tree so before you decide you want to use something like that you better check with your local laws and regulations and make sure that it's legal in your area so uh, I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit I'm gonna climb a few feet up this tree let you see how I move this stick up as I go and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the pegs in uh, set up my saddle system lean back and let you see exactly how I sit in this and uh, hunt with it so all right guys so I got the camera moved back a little bit hopefully you'll be able to see a little higher up the tree and I'm gonna go ahead and start my climb so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this rock harness right into this tree tether and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start climbing I'm gonna adjust this where I want it. step into my webbing aider and begin my climb so as I'm moving up the tree I'm just gonna take this tether and move it up with me. I'm going to reach up over my head, lock that tether in, and then I'm going to sit down into this rock climbing harness and swing out to the side of the tree. Just like that. So you can see, I'm going to move around here where you can see. This is I'm suspended. This is holding my weight. Now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to move this stick right up the tree. Just like this. Put my foot into that webbing aider, swing back around the tree, and climb up again. Just like that. And then I'm basically just going to reverse the process to get back down. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and set up my platform system so that I can show you guys how I sit into this uh, sit drag and use it as a saddle. I'm going to move my knot, my loop, back around to the front instead of the side. I'm going to go ahead and step up, and I'm going to just slide this prussic right on up here, real close to my loop. And then I'm going to undo my sit drag and go ahead and hook it into the carabiner. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down into this sit drag a little bit so that I just, it's a little more comfortable. It takes uh, all the weight off of this rock harness, doesn't put as much hip pinch. And uh, I'm going to take these um, screw in tree steps and go ahead and put these into the tree for my platform. There you go. There's my platform that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and step up into these steps and move this harness up. I'm going to adjust the height of this saddle just where I want it, which about right there is actually about where I like it. So um, if, you'll know, if you noticed, I never unhooked from this rock climbing harness. So there was no given point in, in my climb process that I'm not secured to the tree. Um, right now, the entirety of my weight is being held by this sit drag tree saddle. And... Um, this is serving as a secondary follow rest. If, if some part of this system were to fail, this would be my backup to catch me in the event that something were to go wrong. So uh, you can see how I, I'm able to move freely around the tree. Um, I actually have a basically a 360 degree range of motion. A um, little bit of movement at my hips. And that's one good thing about this am steel is it moves very smoothly through that carabiner. So I'm able to move my hips and rotate myself in any direction uh, much more much more fluently. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and I'm going to let this down a little bit and show you. you. It can be used from more of a sitting position. If, if you want to sit and hunt, this is a great option as well. This just gives you the ability to move this to however you 
prefer to stand or sit during your hunt. I like to stand uh, significantly more. It's a little more comfortable to me, and I just like the I like the availability to be able to turn around and shoot behind me a little easier with this. Um, so basically, I'll pull my pack up, uh, my bow and everything. I set I set a tr set of tree rings right here, and uh, it keeps all my equipment right here on the tree. And I can basically hunt and shoot any direction uh, behind me. I can easily shoot everything to my left hand side. I'm right handed, so my left hand side would be my, my more dominant side to shoot to. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm also able to easily turn myself around and shoot anything behind me. Anything to my left. And then in the event that I needed to shoot around the tree, I can maneuver myself around and shoot all of that void on that side of the tree as well. So there's basically no dead zones as far as what I'm able to hunt effectively. Um, one cool thing about this system is um, the, way, the way that it sets up with you facing the tree, this actually gives you the ability to keep the tree between you and the deer or whatever animal you're, you're hunting at the time. Uh, you're able to move and kind of distort their field of vision and uh, further, bet, uh, further better your camouflage. So it gives, you, it gives you a little bit of an advantage being able to keep something between you and the vision of the deer. Uh, as far as packable, light, secure, and safe, I don't know of a system really that I could compare this to. I really like this system, enjoy the way it packs, uh, love to hunt out of it, but I promise you it's a lot more comfortable than it looks. Uh, as long as you've got your bridge length right, you're not going to get as much, a lot of hip pinch, so uh, everything's pretty, pretty comfortable. And uh, honestly, you can sit here all day, uh, and I'll probably be doing some all day hunts out of this system. We're gonna be in Missouri the opening week of early bow season in September and this is the system that I'm gonna be using so hopefully I'll have some more footage of that uh, this being used in a hunt and uh, you guys can see a little bit about how it performs in, in an actual hunting scenario so uh, hopefully it's gonna be a good season we, we got high hopes a lot of good, a lot of good trail camera pictures coming back from our lease, and uh, hopefully you guys will come back, check out the channel, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Any questions that you guys have about any of this uh, equipment that I use or this building this system, feel free to ask them. I'd love to talk to you guys. Um, keep in touch. Keep keep up to date with us this year. I think it's going to be a great season, and we'll see you next episode.